Sorry about that. Let's just run through this again. So let's label our carbons and figure out everybody's hybridization so that we can figure out um, what orbitals are overlapping. And so for each of the H, we know that it is electrons in 1s orbitals. For C1, it has three terminal groups, which means it is going to be sp2 hybridized. C2 has two terminal groups, which means it is sp hybridized. C3 also has two terminal groups, so it is sp hybridized and c4 has three terminal groups and so it is going to be sp2 hybridized and so using all of this information i'll know that the bonds between c1 and h are going to be sp2 overlap with s the bonds between c1 and c2 are going to be sp2 overlap with sp so according to what i've deduced here the bonds between C2 and C3 will be sp, sp overlap since they're both sp hybridized. C3 and C4 are going to be sp, sp2 hybridized since C4 is sp2 hybridized. And lastly, C4 and H are going to be sp2 hybridized, s, so sp2 and s overlap. And that's it for this question.